wonder. We praise you. We're so thankful, so grateful that you allow us to be in your house one more time. Thank you for the hands that I hold, my brother and my sister, Lord God. Let your love arise in us like never before in a hateful world. We rebuke the spirit of hatred, the spirit of racism, the spirit of prejudice, Lord God, the spirit of division. Say to the Lord God, rebuke you. We plead the blood, the healing blood. Hallelujah. The songwriter said, are you washed? Are you washed in the blood of the lamb are your garments spotless are they white as snow are you washed in the blood of the lamb wash us with your word wash us by your blood lord god give us a mind and a heart to forever want to be saved hallelujah to be in the church triumphant have your way today lord god as we lift up our hands to you Father, we lift up our hands unto the hills from which cometh our help. Our help cometh from you. It is you that has made us and not we ourselves, Lord God. We your people, the sheep of your pasture. We call on your name, the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous, they run to it and are saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Father. Now in your name, Lord God, we rebuke the devil. In your name, Lord God, we proclaim healing. In your name, Lord God, set the captive free. Hallelujah. That he was, the son is set free, is free indeed. Now loose healing. You heard the prayer request of your people, that family that needs a move of God. Somehow, some way, by your mercy and your power divine, do it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for the sister that you brought through the cancer surgery, Lord hallelujah hallelujah do your work complete the work father let it be well with us healing oh god in our finances in our homes in our relationship we pray for the shepherd of this flock bishop hamilton lord strengthen increase your anointing give us the strategy lord lead us guide us hallelujah that we will be part of that church triumphant hallelujah that revival in the land let it begin in us lord god as you're calling many sons and daughters to your kingdom lord God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Help us to put on the garment of praise, to throw off the spirit of heaviness. Uh, hallelujah. You are a good God. You are an awesome God. You can do anything but fail. Hallelujah. Heaven's grace shall always prevail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's thank the Lord together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name hallelujah hallelujah it is well with my soul it is well with my soul we count these things done in jesus precious name amen give your neighbor a hug and say put your praise on hallelujah hallelujah as we stir up the gift that's within us hallelujah give somebody else a hug and say put your praise on put your as praise we come on. to worship and bless his name at this time God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Yeah. Somebody send up the name of Jesus today. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify your name. Hallelujah. Come on, church. One voice. Everybody. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is Come good. on. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Let's yes, leave it right there. Oh, give good. thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks yeah. unto the Lord, for he is good. Here we go. Yes, he for he is, is worthy. For he is worthy. Worthy. Oh, for he is good. He's good. Yes, he for he is good. worthy. For he is worthy. Worthy, for he is good. Come on, yes, let's take it up. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks. Yeah. 
unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. Come on, oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. For He is worthy. Yeah, worthy. Come on, turn. For He is good. Yes, He is good. talk with God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we just want to give him a, some thanks for all that he's done for us, not only this week, but this year. We're at the midpoint of the year. And so it's a good time to reflect and to think back on all the things that God has brought you through and all the things that he's going to bring you through. So if you can testify to your neighbor that God has been good to you, say this, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. Yeah. <laughs> So if you really think that God has been good to you, let me hear you sing it. You've been good to me. You've been good to me. Yeah. Now y'all singing it, but your faces, it's not matching up. Let's try it again. You've been good to me. You've been good to me. Yeah. You've been good to me. 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 Y'all just playing right now. Y'all just playing right now. I want you to tap your neighbor on the shoulder and say, God has been good to me. Tap your neighbor on the shoulder. Say, God has been good to me. Tap your other neighbor on the shoulder. And say, you don't know my story. Tap your other neighbor. Say, you don't know my story. Now point to yourself. Say, God has been good to me. God has been good to me. God has been good to me. Yeah. Hey. Let's sing it again. You've been good to me. You've been good to me. You've been good to me. Yeah. Hey. Sing it again. You've been good to me. 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 You've been good to
good to me. You've been 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 good to me. So so good. 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 Somebody give God the prize and advice. Somebody give God the prize and advice. Hi! Hi! Somebody give God the prize and advice. Hi! We bless your name, God. There is nobody like you, Lord. Hi! For he is. For he is worthy. For he is worthy. Yeah. Worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is. For he is worthy. Yes, he is. For he is good. 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 See you. 
Open the eyes of my heart, come on. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Put your hands lifted high, say. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you in all your glory. I want to see you. Come on, say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Just Lord. to see how holy you are. Open the eyes of my heart. Hallelujah. I want to see you. Yeah, I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on, let's sing it again. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I want to see you for exactly who you open are. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to know what they mean when I they say you are the king of kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the great I, I am. Hallelujah. You. Come on, say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of open my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Yeah. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. See you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and love. As we as cry, we holy, 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 to see you high and lifted up. High and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and love. As we cry, holy, 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 holy to see you high and lifted up. Pour out your power and love all Pour over us, Jesus. As we cry, holy, 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 to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. In the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and love. As we cry, holy, 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 holy. holy. Yes, Lord. Holy, 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 yeah. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Now, before we all sing that, I want you to think about that. Hallelujah, because we talk about praise and we talk about worship and how worship is getting to know him. How many really have a true desire to seek the Lord every morning, hallelujah. Every day, God, I just wanna seek your face. I wanna know you better and better, more and more. How many really, really feel that way? Hallelujah. Come on, how many really, really feel that way? Hallelujah, Lord, I wanna know you. I wanna be so close to you, Jesus. Hallelujah, I want you to open up the eyes of my heart. Hallelujah, open up my spirit to receive. Hallelujah, open up my mind. Hallelujah, God, I want to be so close to you that the enemy can't get in nowhere, no how. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Come on, say it like you mean it. Say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord, so that I can see you in all your glory. Come on, so I can see you in all your awesomeness. So I can know how wonderful you are, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I can know how worthy you are, Jesus. So I can know how holy you are, my God. So I can know how righteous you are, Jesus. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. One desire that I have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Can you sing that with us? Come on, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Yeah, we cry. Holy, holy, holy. My God is holy. Holy, holy, holy. Sing, holy. I 
God, say so. Come on. Holy, holy, say, holy, holy. I want to see you. I want to see you. Everybody lift up your voice real loud. Say, holy, 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 holy. holy. See you high and lift it up. To see you high and lift it up. Shining in the light of your glory. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and love. As we sing. As we sing holy, holy, To holy. see you high and lift it up. High and lift it up. Shining in the light of your glory. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and love. Can you lift your hands up real high? Hallelujah. And can you close your eyes? Hallelujah. And let's get into, draw your mind in, draw your heart in, draw your spirit in. Hallelujah. Come on and now open up your mouth as you think on the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you think on exactly who he is. God, you are holy. You are wonderful. You are mighty. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and open up your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 My God is holy. My God is holy. My God is awesome, Lord. Yeah. My God is awesome, Lord. Yeah. My God is righteous. Yes, you are, Jesus. My God is righteous, yes you are, Lord. Our God is mighty, yeah. Our God is mighty, yeah. We cry holy. We cry holy. We cry holy. We cry. Jesus, we give you everything we have, oh Lord. Open my heart, Jesus. Open my spirit, Jesus. Open my heart, Jesus. Open my spirit, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to get to know you better, 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 better. Better, 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 better. Better, 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 better. I want to get to know you 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 better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open up my spirit, God. Open up my heart, Jesus, so that I can receive. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands. Hallelujah, everybody right here, lift up your hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you're not just singing lyrics and you're not just singing words and you really mean what you're talking about, hallelujah. Come on and open up your mouth. Our God is holy. You reign high on the throne, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is nobody like you, Lord. There is nobody like you, Lord. I recognize how awesome you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah For the Lord God Almighty reigns I hear you
you singing, come on, say hallelujah, say. Hallelujah. Everybody sing, say. Hallelujah. For the Lord. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Can we sing it again? Sing it like you mean it. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord, for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's called worship. It's called worship. I'm not asking for nothing, oh God. But I'm worshiping you for who you are. Yeah. 
today. But if you're not giving God all you got, how do you expect to receive anything? It's about 15 people in here really going for what they know. And everybody else is just looking. And I'm not, I'm not fussing, but I'm challenging you this morning. That just sister just said, we at the halfway point. We at the halfway mark and we're gonna finish strong in the name of Jesus. The enemy may come and try to attack you. He may try to attack your family, your job, your money, your mind, your spirit, your marriage, your children, but the devil is a liar. And I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna be able to combat the enemy. It's with true worship. It begins in your heart. It begins in your heart. And then that's when God begins to move on your behalf. But you gotta do something different if you expect it to move from God. You gotta do something spectacular if you want something spectacular to happen for you. Does anybody else agree with me? Is anybody else expecting a move from God? Is anybody else expecting a move from God? Now open up your mouth and give him glory in this place. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you something and you may not like it. It's not always about what you need. It's not always about what you're asking for material-wise. The song before said, open the eyes of my heart. How many desire to be closer to him, though? I'm talking about like, I, I, yeah. Ooh. I need a new car. I know. I need a new house. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Bishop Hamilton said all the time, you're not praying nothing that he don't already know. And I'm not saying don't pray. I'm saying you got to get to a place where it's like, God, if all I got is you. My one desire, Jesus. Hallelujah. My one desire, Jesus, is to be close to you. Does anybody else feel like me? Does anybody else feel like me? Come on and give God some worship. Don't you ask for nothing. Don't ask for nothing. God, you're mighty all by yourself. If you don't do nothing else for me, you've done enough. And I bless you just for being who you are. Because you're awesome. Because you're holy. Because you're worthy. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the great I am. My God is wonderful. My God is worthy. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the praise. Yeah, say worthy is the Lamb. Yeah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Say. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Say. Worthy is the Lamb. Amen. Say. Amen. Come on, give God glory. Give God glory. How many know he's worthy? Give him glory. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Give him glory. Come on, open your mouth. His praise shall continually be in your mouth. Open your mouth and bless him. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on, come on. You're almost there. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Don't stop. Hallelujah. 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 Grab somebody's hand and go across the aisle. Somebody's ready. Somebody's on the brink of a breakthrough. Hallelujah. Suppose it was based on how you praise God. Just imagine for a moment if all you had to do was just praise him 
with reckless abandon. That's all you had to do. Squeeze that hand and say, it might just be one hallelujah away. It might just be. That might be the one that launches you right into what God has for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all it, that may be all it takes. Hallelujah. That may be all it takes. Father, we bless you. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord, because there is none like you. Beside you, there is no Savior. You are everything to us. You're worthy of all the glory, all the honor, every bit of praise that we can muster. You're worthy of it all, Lord, because truly, you are everything to us. Now, Lord, as we worship you, we know you're healing our bodies. As we worship you, you're delivering our family. As we worship you, you're opening doors for us. As we praise you, you're touching our minds. As we lift you up, you're saving our soul. Hallelujah. And we praise you in advance for everything that you're doing. We praise you in advance as you launch us right into what, we're, what you have for us. We praise you in advance as you turn situations around. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Come on, give God glory. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Hug somebody and tell them I'm so glad to see you. Amen. Hug somebody else. Tell them I'm so glad to see you too. Uh huh. Uh, I think y'all might have forgot that we are on a special June summer schedule. And we are on time. Amen. And we are going to be getting in here and out of here. The Lord knows what they got going on over there. But they're going to get in and out of here at a reasonable time. God is, is doing great things for us. We bless God for everybody that's here. And, and if there are any first-time visitors, we thank God for you. And we bless God for you being uh, able to come and share with us uh, this morning. Thank God for everybody that's joining us online. We appreciate our online campus. We thank God for you. Let's run to the word of God uh, without any further delay. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And I know I preached over here last year. Now, folks that know me know I don't like to preach. I don't preach the same message from back to back in consecutive years I kind of you know but sometimes the Lord will have you revisit a passage of scripture and uh, lift something or emphasize something different uh, in that same chapter and so we go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and we'll focus on Verses 16, 17, and 18. 2 Corinthians 4. 16, 17, and 18. And now be a good neighbor yeah, and, and share the Bible with the person sitting next to you or standing with next to you that doesn't have their Bible. Amen. They were so eager to get here this morning. They said, I had to hurry up and I forgot my Bible. So uh, we want to make sure that they read along with you. 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. If you have it, can you say amen? amen. For which cause we faint not? 
But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Hmm. Outward man perishing, inward man renewed every day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, lean on somebody say, it's just light. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. In the complete Jewish Bible, Jewish New Testament reads like this. This is why we do not lose courage. Though our outer self is headed for decay, our inner self is being renewed daily. For our light and transient troubles are achieving for us an everlasting glory whose weight is beyond description. We concentrate not on what is seen, but on what is not seen, since the things seen are temporary, but the things not seen are eternal. Can the church say amen? amen. Touch somebody and say, temporary troubles, permanent blessings. Oh, y'all didn't say nothing like you mean it. Amen. Try the other day, but say temporary troubles, permanent blessings. Now give God a hand praise all over the building. Come on, give God some glory. Um, there is a, uh, the Lord dropped this in my spirit this week. Um, especially in light of uh, you might as well jump right into them. Uh, the high-profile uh, suicides that occurred uh, last week where uh, you have people that, um, and of course, people always say the same thing. It seemed like they have everything going their way. But, uh, of course, uh, that's always the mistaken thought that the reason people decide to take their lives or give up on living is because they don't have material stuff. Um, but understand very clearly. And so, of course, we have everybody posting, you know, uh, suicide prevention and talk to people and, and all those things, which are good. We need to check on one another. We need to check on you know, how we are emotionally. And sometimes what folks do need is for somebody to talk to them or listen to them. Uh, I saw one post and I agreed with it wholeheartedly that a lot of times you don't need nobody to preach to you at those type of moments. You just need somebody to listen. It's quiet in here, amen. I mean, we're good at slapping a scripture on it, you know, and uh, amen, all things work together for good. Oh, you know, and, and, oh, now listen, and sometimes that's not going to be what folks need to hear. Sometimes they just need to know that somebody loves them enough to, to listen, uh, to hear their heart and to not judge, but just to listen to them. And so... And of course, sometimes we need to learn how to check on folks for mental health. And a lot of times in church, we have uh, spiritualized stuff. And in our community, we have a tendency to tell people they, they shouldn't go you know, to the psychiatrist or we shouldn't go see somebody. But no, I understand this very clearly, amen, that sometimes we need to be laying on somebody's couch and laying before the Lord in prayer. And those things are not mutually exclusive. They can work hand in hand. It's quiet in here because we, we just want to want everybody to excuse.
abuse our crazy cousin or, you know, amen, overlook our child that's got some issues or that's troubled. Amen. You can't just overlook it sometimes. You got to learn how to deal with it. I'm not trying to preach the message on that today, but I'm talking about, amen, the climate that we live in. And then there's always so many things that we hear. There's so many things that bombard our spirits consistently that that are troubling. Oh, y'all can quiet on me. There's some troubling issues that life, amen, throws our way. And sometimes it's not, if it's not your issue, it's still just stuff happening. You, you listen to news. You look at, uh, you know, the news for your timeline. There's always something coming across there that can be troubling, that can be disturbing, that can uh, stress you out and we are living in an age where we are more stressed than ever before amen there's stuff going on amen i wish i had somebody in here that that if we were honest that we learn how to play some things off and we look real fine right now we look like we got it all together but but sometimes you got a real battle on your hands you got some stuff you you rolling back home to just challenge to, to tussle with to struggle with and there are times where you have issues that pop up out of nowhere Things that you just didn't plan on having to deal with. It's quiet in here. You, you know, you, you set your day out and you didn't plan on having this issue pop up. But now, amen, you've got to wrap your arms around it and try, amen, to wrestle it into subjection. It's quiet in here. Amen. Life is something else when you're dealing with, amen, and this is with the Holy Ghost. This is with the God on your side. This is with the Lord, amen, moving in your life. You've got some stuff you got to deal with and uh, I, was, I was sharing with them yesterday and in, in, in the, at the conference that you know God is bigger than your problems but sometimes it's about your perspective it's about how we magnify and when usually our tendency is that we when something hits us then we we make that the issue of the day we make that the issue that we have to wrestle with that week and sometimes it becomes the issue of your life amen you start just amen you carry this with you everywhere you go it becomes the main forefront of everything that's going on in your life all the time y'all getting quiet on me you you just you're wrestling with it and some of us are stressed out some of us are amen we're borderline well, you hanging in there this morning but you know it's only for about an hour and a half and then you amen then you go back to your normal amen way of coping it's quiet in here i must have my foot around the devil's neck right now in the name of jesus but one just one thing you have to understand is that uh, amen life is happening to everybody everybody has their sets of challenges everybody has their sets of ups and downs so nobody is immune from trouble hallelujah but the child of god has a different mindset or should have understand amen when you look at second corinthians his second letter amen to the corinthian church paul was different the tone is a lot different than the first letter the first letter he had to check them over the first letter he had to put some things in order amen and get some things settled because every now and then all of us none of us are immune from being checked hallelujah because if you go unchecked that means that God is not dealing with you. So if the Lord loves you, he's going to have to every now and then kind of grab you up and lay, hey, 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 watch it now. Because if you do, if he doesn't check you, we're going to wreck our lives. You know, somebody said, let him check yourself before you wreck yourself. Hallelujah. You got to be checked every now and then. Sometimes you got to bring yourself in check. You got to watch your own, amen, attitude and watch your own way of thinking. Because if you're not careful, you'll find yourself of messing up your life while you're still trying to be on the right path. Oh, I'm a preacher in a minute, a minute, but watch this. And so, so he, see, he checks them in the first letter, but the second letter, amen, what, what strikes me every time I read in 2 Corinthians is how Paul was so transparent about things that were happening in his life, about how he felt about things, or how things got to him or affected him. Hallelujah. Because many times we see people that are up front and we don't know 
that life is affecting them, uh, that will make you think that everything is just wonderful all the time. Uh, but no, all of us get hit. All the things bother each and every one of us. Uh, so Paul said, when he starts off the letter, in the first chapter of first, Second Corinthians, uh, he says, I don't want you to be ignorant. I, he says, I want you to understand some things about me, the sufferings that Christ uh, abound in us, but so does our consolation. Uh, he said, but understand, I don't want you to be ignorant about what happened to us. Uh, and he was talking about himself. He said, because we were pressed out of measure and above strength uh, to the point where we despaired even of life. Y'all, I, I, I don't know how you read that, uh, but Paul said, I had reached my limit. Uh, I got into the point where I was just tired of dealing with life itself. Uh, oh, God help us in here. Uh, I see, I don't know, you know, it's Sunday morning, so amen, we're all pretty sanctified right now. We feel Feel like we got some energy, but but there's some points there. There may have been a moment last week where you got tired. I don't know because things start to mount up against us after a while. Amen. You've got to understand that there's a, that life can happen to you in such a way to where you get tired of dealing with everybody. You start saying, you, have you ever had the day where you lap, you try to wrap your brains around all the things you had to do that day? Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Amen. You sit there and you say, okay, I got to deal with this and I got to, oh no, I got this today too and I got to, and I got to put this together. There are times where you will sit there, amen, starting to calculate. You could be still in bed or sitting on the edge of the bed saying, oh yeah, I gotta do, oh by the way, ah, I gotta do that too. And then all you're sitting there and all of a sudden stuff starts mounting up in your mind to the point where you say, how in the world am I gonna, matter of fact, I might have, I, you wanna lay back down and pull the cover over your head and say, you know what, I'll just try to tackle that another time. Hallelujah, because you can, things can hit you in such a, such a way to where it begins to pile up on you. But for Paul, the apostle Paul to say, I despaired. We were, I'm not going to have you ignorant of the trouble that came. We were pressed out of measure, above strength, in so much we despaired of life. He said, in fact, we had the sentence of death in us. Hallelujah. In other words, I had it hanging over my head. I had some things hanging over me to the point where it seemed like death was looming. Or let me put it this way, it seemed like death was an option. Y'all ain't see, see, we don't ever want to talk about that. Uh, amen. We don't ever want to think that, oh, there was a moment that you had. Uh, but understand, Paul said we do, we were just at the point where we had the sentence of death in us. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves. Uh, amen. Have you ever noticed that some of you can't even trust your own mind? Uh, you can't even trust your own man. I don't I might I might start tripping. Uh, oh y'all see see I know I know I knew we were gonna be there uh, because see there are moments where you don't want to ever let the person that you're sitting next to in church uh, think that you had you a moment where you're ready to go off. Uh, look at someone say, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. Uh, let them tell them I'm not, I'm trying not to lose my head. Hallelujah. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> But understand, you realize that there, you're, that we're closer, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost, that there are times where we're closer to the edge than we want to admit. There are times where we're closer to snapping under the pressure. And sometimes if it wasn't for the Holy Ghost holding you together, if it wasn't for, amen, the Lord bringing back a word back to your mind, you would have gone off a long time ago. Amen. Lean on somebody. You ought to be glad I'm saying. Amen. Because sometimes it was just the salvation, the power of the Holy Holy Ghost that kept you from throat punching somebody. It was just the power of God that kept you from checking them. It was the power of God that kept you out of prison right now. Hallelujah. If it had not been the Lord that was on our side, the enemy would have swallowed us up a long time ago. Oh, touch your neighbor and say, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Hallelujah. You can't tell it. Let me tell it what the Lord has done for me. Open your mouth and give God a praise for his keeping power. 
Oh, and so uh, Paul said, I've gotten to the point that he, he would go throughout almost all the chapters uh, and tell them things. Uh, he said, well, you know, uh, I've had some moments. He said, I've been in prison. I've been in the deep. I've been, amen, beaten with rods. I've been, I've been through a whole lot in my life. Uh, amen, shake your neighbor. Say, I've been through some things. Uh, oh, y'all, that was the wrong neighbor. Try another neighbor. Say, neighbor, uh, I've had some good days. Uh, and I've had some hills to climb. Uh, I've had some weary days and some weary nights. But understand very clearly that now he's talking to the point where he said, but through all my trouble he said, God who comforted us in all our tribulation because right when you needed him the most, he sent a word your way. He sent somebody there to give you a word of encouragement. He said, he blessed us by the coming of Titus. Hallelujah. He helped me. He said, we were pressed out of measure. I was a buzz strip, but God knows how. He said he calls us. He knows how to raise the dead. He delivered us from so great a death. He doth deliver and he will yet deliver us. Hallelujah. Amen. God delivered you before. He's delivering you now and he'll deliver you tomorrow. Hallelujah. The same God that brought you out 5,000 times before is going to bring you out 5,000 times. Oh, open your mouth and let me hear you praise him if you really believe it. Uh, but understand, uh, he tells them here that uh, he's sincere. Uh, he also tells them you ought to forgive uh, that man that had messed up and I told you to put him out. Uh, he's repentant now and so I want you uh, to bring him back in uh, that he won't be overcome by much sorrow. Uh, in other words, when somebody has messed up, uh, you got to restore them back. Uh, hallelujah. Because he says God has given us a new ministry now. He's given us the ministry of reconciliation. He's given us the ministration, if you will, or the ministry amen, as ambassadors for Christ. Hallelujah. I know you're saying, Pastor, what does this have to do with the text? Because he says, as he gives us this ministry, amen, the Lord does it in such a way to where he will get maximum glory, where God will get all the glory because what he does is he puts the treasure of the gospel in some earthen vessels he puts it in human beings God uses human beings to bless other human beings he uses another person to pour into another person and give them what they need he uses human beings and vulnerable tired weak tripping human beings to carry the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. He uses people to bless other people. And so he said, he puts this gospel in an earthen vessel. He said he pleased God through the foolishness of preaching to save folk. Hallelujah, this old crazy thing where folks will look at what I'm doing even now and say, it don't take all that. I don't know why you got to get up and be so emotional and holler and scream and yell and sweat ah, but it's foolishness to some people but it's wisdom to those that God reveals it to hallelujah give your neighbor a high five and say thank God for the preacher hallelujah thank God for somebody that'll holler at me and tell me to get it together that will tell me that Jesus saves that'll tell me that he's a deliverer that'll tell me that he's a healer that'll tell me that he's a savior open your mouth and thank God for a word. Oh, he says he puts it in a jar of clay. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our heart. In other words, the same God that spoke and said, let there be light is shining in us right now. 
Hallelujah. I told them yesterday, amen, out of Ephesians chapter 3, he said that Paul was praying. He said, I'm praying that you'll comprehend with all saints the breadth, the length, the depth, the height, and to know the love of God that passes knowledge, that you'll be filled with all the fullness of God. Give your neighbor a high five and say, I'm full of God. God is in me, and if greater is he that's in me, than he that is in the world that I got God living in me and if I got God living in me in this earthen vessel ain't no devil in hell can stop me open your mouth and let your neighbor know neighbor I'm unstoppable even though I'm going through even though I'm having some challenges these temporary challenges are going to give me an eternal blessing Hallelujah. He tells them very clearly. He said, I want you to understand. He said, I want you to understand what's happening to me. He said, because we've been pressed. Hallelujah. He said, we have this treasure in an earthen vessel so that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. In other words, I want you to understand that even though we're going through, he said, God's getting all the glory. Amen. Look at somebody say, God God's going to get the glory out of everything I'm dealing with. He said, amen, that way I can't take any credit for it. I can't take any of the glory because if God don't do it, it ain't going to get done. Hallelujah. But watch what he said. He said, we're troubled or hard pressed on every side. He said, but we're not in distress. Look at this. but I'm not stressed out. We're perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. He said, What that is saying is, I'm always carrying around with me the dying of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But I can also have the resurrection power. Hallelujah. He said, We carry that around, but we're going to be delivered to the life that the life of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. He said, That's why we keep on going. That's what brings us to the text. For he he says simply, for which cause we faint not. Look at someone say, that's why I gotta keep going. I can't give up on life. I can't let go. I can't throw in the towel. I gotta keep going. The reason I keep going, because Jesus inside of me, there's something inside of me telling me to go ahead. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can't give up. And I won't give up. Y'all ain't talking out with the wrong neighbor. I'm going to let y'all leave your neighbor alone because y'all don't want to talk. But understand what he told him. He said, for which cause we don't lose heart. That's why I don't lose heart. He says, you know why? Because the outer man is dying every day. Look at your neighbor and say, fine as you are, you die every day. You see, no, no, no. As much as you done worked it out, you done weaved it up, you perfumed it, you cologne it, you dressed it, hallelujah, it's pressed down, shaken together, and trying to run over. And he says, listen, as wonderful as you are, you're dying every day. Tell somebody, say, it's all flesh. Uh-huh. And as much as we want to make it like we're going to live forever, anti-aging creams and all this stuff, trying to get rid of all this, the bags, and trying to color hair and all these other issues. And the bottom line is we're, mo- we're losing it day by day. We're decaying day by day. But guess what else? Something else is happening day by day. Your inner man is getting strong. Hallelujah. Your inner man is renewed every single day. So at the same time that you're dying, new life is coming into you every day. That's why you get up every morning and you put a smile on your face and say, this is a day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Open your mouth and let me hear your blessing. 
Because he says, our inward man is renewed day by day. So then you could declare, our light affliction. Shoo. <laughs> See? See, this is the part I got to teach you a little something. See, our light affliction. And as much as we have pumped up our issues, it's light. And see, Paul, if anybody could call it light, Paul could call it light. He said, it's a light affliction. Paul called his issues light. Another place in this same, uh, same book, he calls it a thorn. Like a splinter. See, look at this one. Said, that ain't no big deal. Oh, y'all. See, I know, I know, I know. Because see, what we do is we like to magnify our issue. Because we want that, oh, we want that sympathy. Y'all getting quiet on me because I, I have you right where I want you. Because there's some of us, whenever we move into, we see somebody. Well, you know, I got that situation. Well, you know, did you hear? And see, and a lot of times they say, do you know? And they know, and you know they don't know. But you want to, you, you, you heard, you heard about, you heard about that, right? You didn't hear about it? Oh, let me tell you about it then. Because now we want to carry that. You all know how it is. We carry this stuff. And what we're doing is glorifying the problem. Because if you don't tell me how God brought you out, you're just promoting negativity. So you're confessing this issue over and over again. I tell people when they've lost somebody in their family, I said, now you ain't under no obligation to keep telling that story every time. Because what they do is, you know, whoever calls next, you know, what happened, girl? Girl, what happened? Well, you know, you told the story 10 times now. And by the end of the day, people that were supposed to be able to comfort you didn't do anything but come by and make you feel worse. Uh, see, I know, because y'all, it's getting quieter. And sometimes it's not a death. Sometimes it's, well, you know, I lost my job. That was like, like two years ago. <laughs> well, you know, well, you know, you know, we're not together no more. Yeah, but, but that was like, didn't that happen five years ago? I thought y'all broke up back in 2013. Oh. Well, yeah, but dude, you still ain't recovered? And so, at some point, Paul said, you know, that's light affliction. He said, it's light trouble. It's fleeting. It's temporary. It's temporary. It's just for a little space. I tried to tell them on Thursday night, and I said, listen, I, I was quoting the 84th Psalm. Blessed is the man who passeth through the valley of Becca. The ba valley of Becca is the valley of tears, okay? If you're going to grab that one, because you're going to go through some tears, but you don't live there. You know, somebody said, you got to pass through now. See, the problem is we start camping out in places we were only designed to pass through. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
We were only supposed to be going through that. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'm going through it, but I'm not going to live there. And some of us set up permanent residence in temporary situations. God help me in here. Somebody ought to quote that somewhere. And the Lord said, you're never supposed to live there. You were just supposed to come through. So I said, you can't sit back and make permanent decisions when you're in a temporary situation. Because watch. He says, it's for a moment. It worketh for us. Even the trial you're dealing with right now is working for you. It's producing something wonderful. It's producing an eternal. So he's saying, Paul was saying, it's as if we got scales here. And he says, this light affliction doesn't measure up to the weight of what God is working out in your life. What do you mean? He said, it works for us a far more exceeding and eternal way in glory. Hallelujah. So then he says, and I got to quit. So then he says, so that's why we don't focus. See, here's the key. It's all about perspective and focus. Hmm. You ever see the picture? And, uh, Sister Ruby was over in Paris. Uh, her and Damon were over there a little while ago for their honeymoon, uh, the other honeymoon anniversary honeymoon. It seemed like they've been on a honeymoon ever since they got married. But anyway, that's the way it's supposed to be, though, too. You know, seriously. And I ain't mad at him. I'm like, go ahead. But she was over. She, they, they were. She had such a great time in Paris that I want to go to Paris. And so, but they always see pe people that take a picture where the Eiffel Tower is in the background, and they're in the foreground, and they'll put their hands up, like, I got the Eiffel Tower in my hand because it'll look from that perspective, from that angle that the Eiffel Tower is actually laying in their hand. Y'all missing it. Now, y'all know good and well that they ain't that big. And the Eiffel Tower is... But see, perspective <laughs> will make it look like it's bigger or smaller than it really is. And part of our problem is we made God in the background real small and we made our problems in the foreground really big y'all got it and so look at your neighbor and say don't focus on your problem because it's too small focus on how big your god is god help me in here hallelujah god is bigger than that he says, so, he says, so we don't focus on what we see. He said, because what we see is here today and gone tomorrow. How many times have you been tripping off of something? And it was such a little thing. You were losing your mind. And all of a sudden you look back, you're like, man, that was... Oh, okay, see, y'all going to play with me. I'm, I'm going to say this and we're going to pray. There are things that you tripped out about that were such a big deal, and you even forgot about it by now. You ever had somebody remind you? Because, you know, you were, I'm like, what? When? Come on, you know, that was a big deal for you back. I'm like, really? Y'all, see, yeah, because when you measure it, in comparison to, all, comparison to all that God has done for you, it doesn't measure up. He says, so I don't focus on the things that are seen. 
Because the things that are seen are temporary. But I'm focusing on what I can't see. Because what I can't see is eternal. As you're standing. As you're standing. Give God a praise as you get on your feet. So, the reason you don't quit is because you've got so much more going for you. And so, you have a lot of stuff to look forward to. As you grab that hand, say, change your focus. When your focus changes, how you talk will change. How you speak about things will change. <laughs> you ever met somebody? And I think I'm, I'm think I'm guilty of this a lot of times. <laughs> but people will say stuff to me, and they'll be like, and "I'll be like, yes, yeah, it's, it's not a problem, no big deal." And then they start to look at you and wonder, "Is anything ever a big deal?" And in a way, it is, but in a way, it's not, you know. And I'm not saying that I don't have challenges and problems and issues. But I've, I've learned that it's going to be as big as I make it. You know, I can't get overwhelmed by a particular assignment, because then you'll get in your head, and you'll start trying to, oh, what if this happens? What if that? It's like, just, I guess I said, be cool. That's somebody said, be cool. Be cool. Yeah. Some of y'all know some of y'all know you next to a neighbor that has a hard time. <laughs> he has a hard time just okay. God's got you. And everything's gonna work out. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Bless you for your word. Thank you for your people. Thank you for the encouragement today, Lord. Thank you for hope hmm, that you have renewed in us. Lord, somebody was on the edge today. The enemy has ran th thoughts through our mind. That maybe you ought to give up. And Lord, there are times when we feel like jumping in the car <laughs> and driving to another life somewhere. <laughs> but Lord, we know that's not your will. Lord, help our minds. Give us peace. It passeth all understanding. Guard our hearts, guard our minds. And Lord, help us to refocus on you. Help us to refocus and have different conversation, a different outlook. Give us a forward look, huh, glory, to where we're anticipating and eagerly awaiting what you have for us. Keep us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give God glory. Oh, come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, ministry team, I need you to come quickly. Amen to come quickly. There may be somebody that says, I need prayer today. I need somebody to pray with me. Believe God with me. Come on. God is, is working some things out in your life. Sooner or later. Hallelujah. It's going to work out. It's going to work. 
you're not going to always feel like this. <laughs> it won't always be like this. Really, it won't. I really believe. If you're sick in your body, you got to believe that I'll, uh, I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to feel like this forever. And God's going to work it out. You may be broke today, but that ain't going to be the situation forever. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that? Give God glory all over the place. And sooner or later, it'll turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. And sooner or later, it'll turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. And sooner or later, it'll turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. And sooner or later, it'll turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. Oh, it won't always be. How do you really like believe that? This. Hallelujah. Can you stand all over the Lord building for a moment? That and worship with us. Me. Yeah. Come on. Sooner or later, How many of y'all believe it? It'll turn in my face. I hope you really believe that. How many know it's turning around? Come on, open your mouth. Speak over your own life. It won't always be like this. It won't always, this. it won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. Now look at somebody and say, sooner or later. Sooner or later, it'll turn in my, my favor. favor. Hallelujah. Sooner or later. Hallelujah. Come on. It'll turn in my face. Worship him. Say it out loud. Sooner or later. It'll turn in my favor. How do you believe it? It's turning around for me. Hallelujah. Put those hands together and bless his name. Put those hands together and bless him. Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and bless him. Look at somebody and say, sooner or later. Sooner or later. <laughs> it's going to turn in my favor. God bless you. God bless you today. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Bless his name. All right, we got to get out of here. Amen. Calvary will be here at noon. So, but we thank God for his goodness and his mercy. How many of y'all received the word today? How many of y'all really received it? Now, you ain't playing no games. You really received it. Amen. Amen. It's turning around for you. Temporary troubles, but permanent blessings. Amen. Uh, tomorrow at our Palmdale location, 
at 7.30, we will be having Bible study. The series continues. Have a talk with God. Ooh, I'm telling you, if you haven't been in on this series, you've been missing something. The Lord has really been giving us something powerful to uh, energize our prayer life and make us effective in our prayer life. The fervent, the fervent, effectual fervent prayer. The Lord is teaching us and, and helping us to get better uh, in our prayer life and our communication with him. So that's 730 tomorrow in Palmdale. And of course, at 730 on Tuesday night, the same class we will be streaming that one on our website, spiritandlifeministries.com, where you can see other services. This service, all the others, will be available on that, the video. But also, it will be streaming on my Facebook page. Uh, amen. And then also, I'm going to probably put it on my uh, Steve Hamilton ministry page, which I appreciate all of you that have liked it and are following uh, the ministry page. Amen. We're going to have And also, we're on YouTube now. Amen. So if, you, if you'd like to see our TNT, our Thursday night teaching, our uh, brief little teaching that we do on Thursday night, you can go on YouTube, follow my page, Steve Hamilton Ministries. Steve Hamilton Ministries, and it will bless you. There's some nice little pick-me-ups that you can get throughout the week that will bless you, and uh, I encourage you to check it out. So at, after... Um, and 7, 7 o'clock on Tuesday night also we'll be having prayer right here in the main sanctuary. All right. God bless you. I believe that's it. It's offering time. Yeah. Hey, amen. It's offering time. If you'd like, as you're standing all over the building, we thank, and, uh, thank God for each and every one of you that are giving and supporting this ministry. If you've been blessed, amen, by the ministry, we thank you for how you have been supporting the ministry. I can tell you've been blessed by how you're giving and helping us keep on doing what we're doing. Also, if you'd like to give electronically, please uh, see Sister Diana or Sister Tatiana over to my right, to your left, and they can take care of your credit card and debit card uh, uh, offering. God bless you. Hold that offering up in the air and just say permanent blessings in Jesus' name. You're in the hands of the ushers and the deacons. Please turn those cards in. I want to pray for you this week. Also, please, if you can, you see those blue, those blue tubs out front. They are for our travel size items for the homeless. A toothpaste, toothbrushes, uh, sanitizer, socks, all that good stuff. Bring it. Amen. God bless you. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Now everybody say blessed. Blessed. Say black, black, oh, oh, oh. say black, 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 say black, black. Late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. It's gonna work in your favor. Oh yes, it will. God bless you. Have a blessed week, everybody.